there was a certain time when people from general public wanted to know about nanotoxicity. But this is, in my view, over now. So this, there was a hype in, I would say, 2009, 10, maybe 8 to 10 in this, um, in this time. And now all this appears to be a little bit settled. One of the, the great challenges, I think, how to assess nanoparticles in the environment, in the food, in, in whatever. Because what we are testing is mainly the nanoparticles, not formulated nanoparticles, not in a matrix. The most important focus is respiratory exposure, because there we don't have really good barriers. So we are exposed to these nanoparticles in a more direct way than with the skin. I mean, there are lots of studies telling that even in sunburned skin, nanoparticles would not get very far. But I would doubt for respiratory exposure. My name is Eleonora Fröhlich and my background is in a way twofold. I studied biochemistry and I'm a medical doctor. And my research is nanotoxicology. 